This is not how you handle criticism. Your whole excuse is other people do it, so why can't I? If your friends jumped off a bridge, would you do it? Just because you have a channel doesn't make you qualified to handle harsh topics like this. You play it off as a joke for content. These are passionate YouTubers covering this drama because they are spreading awareness. You yourself mentioned many times that you're milking it. You even said you do these for entertainment. Are you kidding me? Absolutely disgusting. Coming from it, coming from someone again, coming from someone again who's been in a similar situation to this, even from the whole video, it doesn't sound like you want to know what you did wrong and how you can improve. You view people who gave you valid criticism as less than you. For God's sake, you didn't even have a mediator for this whole debate. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we're going to be covering uh, some very interesting takes on my recent video, which again, I'm unlisting. I kind of talked about that in the community tab, but today this is a bit more of a um, concrete and solid response to some of this stuff that I've concrete and solid response to some of the stuff I've seen on Twitter, on my YouTube comments regarding how I've covered this situation. And to be honest, some of the stuff is fair criticism, but I also think a lot of what people are saying is based on popular opinion rather than critical thinking. And so this comment that I just read in the intro is going to be our main piece to kind of dissect because I think it's probably the best comment that I've seen kind of trying to, not in a negative way, but tear down my opinions and tear down the way I've covered the situation. Um, and I'm not saying tear down again in a way that, oh, they're being, they're being mean or they're being negative for the sake of being negative. I think that they genuinely believe what they're saying. And I think that personally, I find that what they're saying is probably a bit uninformed, but I'm totally willing to engage with this uh, relatively decent comment. And uh, yeah, so let's jump into the video. Let's talk about it. And hopefully I can get some more comments from you guys talking about the situation as a whole and how I've handled it. So we're going to cut this into pieces just so we have the right amount of time for each point to be dissected. Okay. This is not how you handle criticism. We'll get that out of the way right now. It's a subjective, you know, how you handle criticism. It's, it's varies from person to person. I believe I'm doing it right. You believe I'm doing it wrong. Um, neither of us are right or wrong. Your whole excuse is other people do it. So why can't I, if your friends jumped off a bridge, would you do it? Okay, so this is a very interesting point. Uh, other people do it, so why can't I? Other people make millions of dollars covering really, really gruesome shit. Why can't I? Hmm. If other people make millions and millions of dollars, get a large following, and get to do exactly what they want to do on YouTube by covering topics that are, you know, not exactly the most family friendly, um, why would you do it? Why? I mean, if your friends jump off a bridge, would you? Yes. If my friends jump off a bridge into a fucking money pit, yeah, you're goddamn right. I'm gonna jump into the fucking money pit, okay? Like, it's it's such a brain dead take. Of course, when I see creators like Turkey Tom covering losers, creeps, pedos, I'm gonna go, hmm, this is clearly working. Clearly, people wanna see an interesting and entertaining creator cover topics that, that are pretty edgy, pretty crazy, pretty, I guess, sadistic. Obviously, people are gonna wanna see that shit. That's why it gets views. And if it gets views, anyone's gonna wanna do it. Anyone's gonna wanna hop on that bandwagon and make sure that they get their piece too like it's it's common sense like I, I understand that like you're trying to make this a moral thing it's fine like i'm totally fine with people being like oh i can't believe you're doing this but have that same energy keep that same energy as most mma fighters will say towards other larger youtubers but you don't and if you do it doesn't matter because clearly the large majority of people are going to fucking watch that content anyways you included i mean you watch this fucking video and i bet you watch turkey tom i bet you watch nextbow i bet you watch these people so i understand and, and, and those are just individual creators that i think those are the most comparable to me because they're also individual people not i mean they obviously have editor teams and all that shit but i mean if you want a really easy comparison look at cnn they will cover a fucking mass shooting right for example a mass fucking shooting for 10 hours a day for a full fucking week that's like countless more minutes of content than i could ever fathom to produce on a single topic yet nobody says anything about it when in reality maybe 10 percent of that coverage is getting new interesting information about the topic to inform the public the rest of it is probably just reaction if, if we're being honest most most of it is just reactions. It's the, the anchor talking to a new reporter about this. It's a different reporter from fucking Mexico talking about it. It's a different reporter from Tennessee, a different reporter. Everybody's giving their take. If you watch any CNN or Fox news coverage, that is a hundred percent, 90% of what 90% of what goes on on the news is filler because people want to watch the fucking filler. People want to see what other people have to say. People want to see other people's opinions. People want to see opinions on the reactions to what happened. This is, this is a known fact. People have always been doing this, but the problem is when they do it, they're in suits and ties. They're on CNN. It's something that you recognize. But when I do it, it's somebody that you can relate to. It's somebody that's, oh, well, Sleepy, he's just another guy. I could be Sleepy. I could, I could put myself in his shoes. Well, I would never do that because I'm better than that. No, you never do it. You know, you know why you never do it? Quite honestly, it's because you don't, A, you probably don't have the ability to talk in front, talk in front of a camera and edit and do all the stuff that you need to get a video out and have it get viewed. I'm not saying that I'm like the best YouTuber ever. There's clearly a certain amount of skill that goes into making a video that is consumable enough to the point in time where enough people 
people will watch the video for enough time that it'll get recommended to other people and it will get likes and comments and people will enjoy it. I mean, listen, we can say what we want. I look at the like to dislike ratio. It's 90% to 95% to five or 90% to 10. Like clearly the majority of people are enjoying the content and it's this vocal minority that don't. And again, I'm one of the few people that will cover this shit. People get, people are getting mad that, oh, Sleepy's so obvious. He keeps saying he's milking it. Yeah. I'm the only motherfucker that will tell you that they're milking it. I'm the only person that's going to tell you, yeah, I'm doing this for views. I'm doing this to make sure that you see it. Because at the end of the day, I do have a lot of fun covering shit like this. I do have a lot of fun talking to people in the comments. I do really like YouTube. I've been on this platform for so many fucking years. Obviously, I like this shit, but I'm not going to do this to get fucking two views. I'm going to look at what's the most jarring, interesting shit that people want to know about, and I'm going to make content about it, just like any other fucking popular YouTuber. And that's why this these videos are doing so well. A form of content that people want to see. I've, I've heard other opinions, by the way. I'm getting a bit off topic off of the, the comment. I've heard opinions that are like, well, you're you're um you're not doing th these videos are unnecessary people want to see um information people are, are clicking on the videos because they think that it's new information about the situation god bless okay these people that, that are giving me this opinion the type of people that are watching this video are not here for news coverage because if they were they would have watched criticals video they would have watched pyrocynicals video they would have watched any major creator with views above 1 million they wouldn't have been watching my video they're watching my video because god bless but you're a bunch of degenerates that are looking for the most recent content you guys are sorting by new and you're like, okay, I've seen, I know all the information. I've read everything that I can find. You know what? I just want to hear different people's opinions. That's basically what, what's going on. And that's why people are watching these videos. They want other people to either support or negate their opinion. And they want to watch that because it's entertaining. At the end of the day, this is all entertainment. And to, to deny that, listen, dog, you can deny whatever you want in reality. Okay. This shit is all for entertainment. And if you're upset at that, be upset at the system, not me. Because YouTube's the one that's perpetuating millions of content creators making this type of stuff. And not just YouTube. I don't want to put the blame on YouTube because YouTube is a great resource for individuals like myself, individuals like Tricky Tom, individuals like Dumpy to take something that's trending on Twitter and make a video out of it and make money and, and grow an audience and entertain the masses. It, 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 it's not just YouTube that's that's guilty of this. It's any social media website. It's any cable news network provider. You look at CNN, you look at Fox News, you look at ABC or whatever the fuck you want to look at. Every single person is guilty of the same quote unquote sin. Only difference is that you can relate to me. You, you, you seem to not be able to put yourself in the shoes of somebody who can talk about the certain stuff that's fine it's not a big deal but you have to realize that a lot of the arguments you're making are based on mass mass opinion popular opinion not critical thinking that's all and, and and there's no problem with that but you have to you know if you're going to come at me and you're gonna be like oh well you're you're taking these people's opinions and you're saying that they're invalid they're invalid because i don't i don't care i'm not gonna validate your opinion but when it comes to like some fucking youtube commenter that's gonna tell me like oh well actually this is how i feel i don't give a fuck how you feel all right if, if you have feelings that, that are bothering you fucking log off it's very simple just because you have a channel doesn't make you qualified to handle harsh topics like this play it off as a joke and for content there are passionate youtubers covering this drama because they are spreading awareness you yourself mentioned many times that you're milking it here's the reality many different youtubers are probably covering it in different ways that are not similar to the way i'm covering it just because that's the nature of youtube different types of content thrive on different channels different types of um, different types of personalities will have different types of ways of covering things but in large part, regardless of how somebody covers something, they're not doing it out of the goodness of their heart. They're doing it because it gets likes, because it gets views, because it's, that's like what 95, 99% of YouTubers, especially in the commentary space, are doing, right? And so to deny that that's the reality, I don't know what fantasy land you live in where you don't have to pay rent or, you know, you don't feel like succeeding on a platform. If these people were really doing stuff out of the goodness of their heart, they'd be covering fucking the Ukraine war every single day because clearly the amount of people that are dying in that war, I mean, it's a far bigger tragedy than the uh, amount of fucking, I guess, tragedy you can measure against a single allegation, something that isn't even proven, right? If we're talking about like covering things out of the goodness of our hearts, all we would do is cover the worst and most important topics and we would cover them daily, hourly, as much as we possibly can. We would dedicate our entire lives to it. But in reality, that's not the case. People aren't doing things because it's out of the goodness of their hearts. They're not doing it because they genuinely care. Maybe they do a little bit, but reality is they're doing this because they have a skill, which is covering content, making videos, talking about certain things, and they are monetizing and making sure that they get as many views and comments on their videos by making videos about these topics that are trending. These topics are trending.
That's why they're covering it. Not because they're such, all right? Not because they're the sweetest little guy, all right? You even said you do these videos for entertainment, which I do. Yeah, it's for like videos. Oh, it's almost like the entertainment on the entertainment website is for entertainment or some shit. Like even informative videos are entertainment. Like that's just what it is. Are you kidding me? Absolutely disgusting. Coming from someone again, who's been through a situation like this, which again, I'm sorry to hear like, if you've been um, assaulted or some shit. Even from the whole video, it, does, it doesn't sound like you know what you did wrong and how you can improve. You view people who give you valid criticism as less than you. For God's sakes, you didn't even let the media, you didn't even have a mediator for this whole debate. A couple of things. A, this wasn't a debate. This was a conversation with my boy Ween. We were just chit chatting. I mean, he was fucking high as a kite, so he's basically just listening or zoning out. Um, a mediator, again, if we have a, if I have an actual debate, I'm down to have a mediator. Um, it, it doesn't really bother me at all. Um, and then in terms of like valid criticism, that's your opinion that it's valid. I don't think it was. I think the, the latter half of your entire comment is kind of boring, to be honest. But um, yeah, that's my take. I'm fucking tuckered out. Um, I'm going to make another video later. I'm going to hit the gym right now. Uh, hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'm going to drop it. And then I'll drop another one probably around like midnight. All right. Talk to you guys later.